the first couple of seasons anyway um, of House were a remarkable exploration of epistemology, it seemed to me. Uh, you know, there, there were all sorts of side things about the theories that were fun, like the portrayal of this eccentric, idiosyncratic character, although even then it, they built the personal quirks around the epistemology. So there was, I remember there was an episode where uh, the world's leading expert in something or other, I think it was tuberculosis or something, was, was ill and said that he had tuberculosis. And House said, no you don't. And he said, why, why not? Well, because you've got atypical symptoms. It's, uh, you, you've got a, and, and the expert said, no, that's, I've seen thousands of cases of this. You've only seen a handful of cases in your whole career. I've seen thousands of cases. And I know that this disease can present atypically. And House said, the fact that you've seen thousands of cases is exactly why you're not the right person to make this decision. Uh, this is the gambler's fallacy, you see. Uh, or is it the inverse gambler's fallacy or whatever. The, the, uh, the expert in thousands of cases of tuberculosis who doesn't have a broad understanding of other diseases to match his understanding of tuberculosis is going to be terribly subject to bias.